the system can do things that are quite unlike what you find in the tradition. And in some cases, these mistakes are of such a kind or such a type that a person from the traditions could say, I don't know of any tomb that does that little figure. And I wonder why there has been no tomb that does that little figure, because it completely fits within the language, the syntax of the tradition. So that's, a, in, a, in a sense, a mistake of the system to have created something that is unlike anything that is in the corpus that's been trained on, but it's a success of the system in that it has created something new that a, an expert in the tradition says, I don't know why, I don't know of any tune that does that, but it should. It's completely appropriate. Mm-hmm. And of course, there are other outputs of the system that create things that are failures, total failures, don't resemble at all Irish traditional music or Swedish traditional music. Sometimes the failures are um, charming. As a <clears throat> as a composer, I want to work with those failures and sort of explore uh, what went wrong and how to bring it within my language, let's say. And then there's others just sort of trash. Like there's nothing... Interesting, noteworthy about these this output of the system that it's just totally forgettable. So, did that answer your question? Yeah, I mean, that's perhaps the most fascinating part about it that it goes beyond the corpus that it has been trained on. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. one could look at that and say it's a mistake, but also one could say it's perhaps a, mm-hmm. a new thing that has been created. And that's the thing that you see time and time again when you give people creative people tools that they use them in ways never intended um, they find ways to break the system and exploit those uh, those interesting behaviors that result my colleague um, Oded Bental is a composer and he's been working with me on this on this research for a while since I started basically he wrote a piece um, exploring this breaking of the system and so within the folk art system, you have a parameter called temperature, which controls um, the adventurousness of the sampling at the end. So as you increase temperature, the probability of making a strange choice of a symbol becomes larger and larger. As you decrease it, the system becomes more conservative and will just start to repeat itself in a conservative fashion, like arpeggiating some chord. So he, in one movement of the, the work, he generated some stuff and then he generated some stuff with the temperature increased and then he increased the temperature again generated increased again generated and you can see through the timeline of the this movement of his work the system become crazier and crazier with its sort of musical language but crazier in a sense that most of what it had generated for him was he discarded and he only he was heavily curating the outputs. Because he's a composer, he's and he had a, a particular vision of how this movement would go. But it was exploring the breaking, the eventual breaking of the the system that became this idea of the movement. And you see that you see people using misusing systems like the with the three hundred three synthesizer, which was meant to create um, rhythm tracks for people to practice jazz or or what have you and then it became somebody found it at a thrift store and it became the item to make an acid dance track right with the twisting the knobs and making these crazy sounds total misuse of the rhythm system the accompaniment system but one that led to the creation of a whole style of music and a whole practice of music and you have circuit bending do you know about this yes but please, uh, say, yeah, I mean, yeah, circuit bending, yeah, where you take, really, yeah. you take an electronic toy and you sort of perform a lobotomy on it. You dissect it. You connect things at random in the circuitry, and you create all sorts of weird sounds that are then used as a, in a performance or in a creative context. Total misapplication or misuse of the technology to create uh, something new. And it's the same way with artists and AI. You have prompt engineering today with stable diffusion. You know, if you add to certain terms, 
like trending on art station and high resolution and other things you get these different effects and so this stable diffusion isn't just a way to create a raccoon eating a taco on a spaceship but you you can bend the circuitry in the system by adding all these other descriptors that make it uh, oriented in the latent space to bring about these effects at the output.